Well, I'm going to make chicken. I don't know about a mouthful, but it will be because we're stuffing it. We've got this beautiful rangatiki chicken. We're going to stuff it with some mozzarella and some um, uh, salami in there. And we've got this beautiful herb crust that we're going to make with some oregano and rosemary and a nice, beautiful mushroom sauce to top it all up with. That's a little bit later on in the show. Now it's over to Mel. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen and this morning it sounds incredible Mark we're using our favourite rangatike corn fed free range chicken we're going to stuff them we're going to make a delicious sauce a lot to get through where do we start? Right so first of all we're going to get our um, so we're going to pan the chicken so we're just going to chop some oh, herbs Oh we're panning again It's your favourite job on the show and you're getting really good at it I am it, getting eh? good at it I've worked it out one hand so That's it, one hand. Okay, cool. Do you want me to get that underway then? Yeah, yeah, so you can get all the bowls, bowls ready. So it's always a good idea to get your bowls ready before you start, and then you can just go bish bash bosh, start okay, cooking, cool. and then you're all good to go. And then today, for something a little bit different, we're just going to put some herbs through the pane as well, so it's going to flavour it. Okay, cool. And give us extra flavour for the chicken. So I've got some oregano, and I'm going to pop that in the end one. Oh, is that going to put your crumbs? Breakfast. Yeah, and Green I've got crumbs. some rosemary as well. Panko bread crumbs. Yes, yeah. and then we're going to season the uh, crumbs as well. So a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Okay. And we can get that seasoning in. in. So we'll chop the rest of this. And then we're going to stuff our chicken breast. So today we're stuffing our chicken breast uh, with a bit of salami. So we've got some black pepper salami just to give it some extra flavour. Um, you can, if you don't like salami, you can put, um, you know, you don't need to put it in. We can just use the cheese. We're using some mozzarella. Or you can use some uh, parma ham, bacon. I am. Yep. You know. Anything you want, really. You could just keep it vegetarian. You could put the mushrooms in there, put some garlic in there. That'd be quite nice as well. Yum. All right, so a little bit so. of uh, rosemary goes in there. Yeah, this is going to be a nice crumb. How yeah, many eggs it. do you want in there? Two? Uh, One, yeah. Two. Oh, yeah, a couple of eggs. Okay. They're small, that's all right. There you go. Thank you. Right, and then we, so we've got our mozzarella. So we've got a block of mozzarella. And we're just going to do some nice slices. And that's going to help us when we put it in the chicken. Okay, so we've got that. We've got our salami already cut. Now it's for our chicken. So get your breast. So we're taking the skin off. Yep. You've got this nice little fillet here. You can take this off or you can leave it on depending on what your, um, you know, your portion size is. Right. So you, nice sharp knife, put the skin side down and then we're just going to slowly, carefully cut into the breast. Okay, okay, how far through do you go? So we're not going all the way through. We're making like this little pocket here. Right, so you don't want the stuffing okay. to fall out, do you? No, 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 we don't right. want stuffing to fall out. We're going to, we're going to stick that in. And then we've got the salami. So I'm going to lay the salami like that. I'm going to put the cheese in the centre. Like so. And then we're going to fold it over. OK, so you see it's quite thin there. Mm -hmm. And if you leave the fillet on, you can pop that over there. OK, great. And then you get a nice, um, you know, it's just like a nice cavity. So sort of fold it over a little bit, give it a bit of pressure, and then hand it over to Mike, and then he can pan it. Oh, right. Pressure is on. Which one first? We're going egg first. No? We? We're going flour first. Yes. Ah! Oh. <laughs> so obviously when you pan it, you've got to be really careful because you have, you have cut it open, you've stuffed it, it's got ingredients in there. So just pay a little bit of extra attention. Just be quite gentle, you know, get a nice covering. I'm going to do a few myself, more here. need to make myself and some then here. And then once we've got it pan -aid. OK, so flour. Then How many egg. times have you done this? I know, I keep forgetting the order. <laughs> That's it, flour, egg. Yeah, oh, you've got to be careful that this filling Yeah, so, you, so you, you do have to be a little bit careful. That's cool, that makes it more fun. Doesn't it? For the viewers to watch. <laughs> and for me to muck up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. OK, and then, is that about enough Yeah, 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 so just make sure you've got your egg all coated all around. And then put it in your breadcrumbs. And then as you push in the breadcrumbs on, sort of give it a nice sort of like squeeze and tighten it up and sort of try and hide all your ingredients in the chicken. Oh, I see. I so see. you can re sort of, you can remould it then. Okay, cool. Right, do I, need a, do I need a plate or something to put this on? No, we're going to go straight in the, straight in the pan. Oh, we're going to go straight in the pan. And then you can do the next one. Right, so I'm just going to put a bit of oil in the pan, so just heat the pan up. So, I'm going to keep it on a nice medium heat. And you're going to start it off in some oil first, so you can shake your excess off, that's it. Pop it in, we've got that nice sizzle there, and then we're just going to cook it so it's nice and golden brown. We'll flip it over and we'll keep cooking it. Because we've uh, cut it in the centre, you know, it's not going to take as long as a really thick, dense chicken breast. Nice. But it'll still probably take about sort of, you know, six to eight minutes or so, ten minutes maybe in the oven. If, there are, if they're a little bit thicker than that, we can put it through the oven. Well, this is looking if great. And I'll tell you what, I'll carry on. I'll keep my penne going. OK, mushroom sauce. Can I just say, these are looking fantastic. Welcome back to the cafe kitchen, by the way. Um, this is looking really good. Smells incredible too. 
So that's what we want to do. So sort of keep that sort of, you know, a nice medium heat. You don't want to get it too hot, otherwise it'll colour too fast and the right. chicken will still be raw. So okay. that's the colour what we're looking for. So we can check the other one, flip it over, get the nice colour on the other side, and then we can always keep rotating it like that. And then just a little bit towards the end, we're going to add a little bit of butter and finish it with a bit of lemon juice just to, to finish and glaze it. Okay, All right, cool. mushroom sauce. So I've got a nice hot pan. So you can see it's smoking. But anytime you cook mushrooms, you want a really hot pan. You, know, you want to get the colour on your mushrooms. Yep. You want to hear that sizzle. Because there's a lot of um, water content in mushrooms, and if it's not hot, they'll just stew, and then all that liquid will come out, and it just tastes like cardboard. Okay. So, so get you know, it hot. Yeah. And, and okay, cool. I don't want to over, overcrowd the pan either. Because I can be really useless with the mushrooms, so I do exactly what you said. <laughs> oh, it's floating in the sauce, really. Yeah, so that's, so that's, that's what you want. So you can see we're, all, we're already getting a little bit of colour on there, so keep the heat up there. And then, really simple, so we've got some white wine, we've yep. got some stock, we've got some cream. We'll finish it with a bit of lemon as well. Yum. That's pretty much it. But once we've got the colour, then we can start adding our rest of our ingredients Oops, in. lost one. <laughs> <laughs> Three second rule, no one saw it. So that's it. So, a little bit of salt and pepper. So we'll check our, check our um, chicken again. So you just turn that on. Yep. So you're getting a nice colour. So just keep turning it, and as you, you know, as the heat gets into the centre of the chicken, the cheese is going to start melting. Right. So you know there's heat in the centre, so that means you're not too far off um, being cooked. Okay. So you just keep rotating it. So unlike yeah. a steak, you don't worry about how many times you flip it. Yeah, yeah. And, cool. it, and if you want to, you can get it to this stage as well. Put it on a tray and pop it in the oven, oven if you really want okay, to. Cool. But you can, you can cook, uh, cook it all in the pan if you want. So I'm going to put a little bit of uh, butter in there. So it's just going to foam up, and you're just going to sort of keep basting it and turning it and. It's all flavour, butter's flavour. Oh yeah, I don't know. Oh, I haven't seen you use the butter for a while, actually, in all really? honesty. <laughs> <laughs> been a while. Sarcasm. <laughs> right, and we, so we've got, we got some colour on our mushrooms. You know, so they're slightly shrinking, but we've got the colour, that's the most important uh, thing, because that is flavour. A little bit of uh, white wine to deglaze. As soon as it comes up to the boil, the alcohol's gone. A little bit of stock in there. Yep. Bring that up to the boil. We're going to keep crank the heat up now, keep reducing it down. Reduce that down a little bit and then we'll pop our cream in and then it's just going to come together and when you've got a nice sauce consistency, when it's coated in the back of a spoon, that is ready to go. We'll adjust the seasoning, bit of lemon juice, uh, the chicken will be ready. We're going to let it rest as well, let, the rest, let it rest a couple of minutes as well, okay. the chicken, and then we can slice it and you get that beautiful uh, mozzarella oozing out of the centre. Mm. We've got a nice peppery salami in there, different textures. And pop cream in. Okay, so let the liquid from your stock and your wine and the cream yeah, do the reducing and not the liquid from the mushrooms. That's why you've yeah, got to make yeah. sure they're hot. Yeah, so yeah. there's no okay, cool. mushroom uh, uh, juice from the mushrooms. Great. Yeah, that all burnt off, so we've intensified that mushroom flavour. We've got the cream now, and then you're just reducing it all together, and then that's going to be a beautiful uh, mushroom sauce at the end of it. Beautiful. Looking good. Look at that, yeah. Look, look at that. Looks great. Nice work, chef. So just be careful when you pop the butter in, you want to keep that controlled temperature. You don't want that butter to burn. Right. It, can go, it can go brown, it can go nutty, that gives yep. us a flavour, but you don't want it to go black and burn, otherwise it's going to go bitter. Okay, great. And then just before finishing, a little bit of lemon juice over on the pan, and that sort of emulsifies the butter, and then you can just toss it around in there and glaze it, and it's boom, full of flavour. <laughs> yeah, <Yum>, well, <laughs> great, okay, this is fantastic. Midweek, and here we are in the kitchen making something that you can do at home very easily. Make sure you try the rangatake chicken as well. For the recipe, go to thecafe.co.nz. Chicken's great, we just rested it. Just gonna slice it now into a few slices. You can see that cheese is just oozing out. Mm. Put it on the plate, just spread it, nice filling, and this beautiful, really quick, tasty mushroom sauce. Serve that with it, and there you go. Fantastic dinner for oh, tonight. Yum. That looks delicious. There you go. I'm going to bring that. I'm going to bring a tea towel. <laughs> oh, <nice. laughs> and some clamps. Yeah. Right.